Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Ixion. Now in the last episode, things were starting to get pretty rough. To my surprise, the storm in the Thetis system has begun moving, trudging across the system, enveloping us entirely, destroying our ships, our probes, which is rendering us pretty much blind and immobile for the time being, even sitting still here. We're being battered with debris, ripping apart the Tycoon's hull, shredding our solar panels, draining our alloys pretty much as fast as we can make them. But hopefully, we can start to invest into our technology, recover, and prepare to get out of the storm to the other side of the system so that then we can fix the economy and prepare for the 2,000 extra population that we've been tasked with taking on board. So that's currently where we're at. Now our other objective is to perform a colonization test here on Crook P42, which is what we're currently doing. If you remember, we have an event in progress, establish advanced Neoncond colony infrastructure. We've delivered the alloys, half of the food, and then we need to bring over 90 colonists, which we have prepared, put them into the correct sector, and our ship will just have to make the back and forth trip from the Tycoon to the planet to actually get that done. It's funny, we're in orbit of that planet, yet I think we can barely even see it. The storm is just that thick. There it is. It's sort of like a giant dark eclipse in the background there. Shrouded by the storm, the meteorological storm that's going on. So, a lot of people were shouting about in the comments to get a technology, a very vital technology, and I agree. It's in the Tycoon Hull section, Kinetic Compensation Jacks. The hull takes 20% less damage from impacts. So we'll queue that up. We have 75 science right now, so it's totally doable. Now the next one is Reinforced Steel Cladding. The hull's deterioration while moving is reduced by 10%. Quite important. But also, the EKP engine post-lunaclism chambering gives us 20% faster movement. I'd like to get both, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get both. So I'm going to go with this one instead, because I'm more worried about running out of battery power as we try to get to our next destination as we pull ourselves out of the storm. The reason that's a problem is because, of course, our probes are getting destroyed before we can find any other planetary bodies to kind of latch onto or take a breather while our batteries recover. Because of that problem, we have to make a fairly long journey to the only place I can see, the closest place I can see, which is 4.9 cycles away. So internally, what we're doing is investing into our battery tech. We're building... Yeah, we've built several... There we go. These larger batteries which are housing more power and they're charging up right now. So we're not fully charged yet. I also want to just improve one of the batteries down here. So I've got a bit of a checklist of things to do. Got to be really careful now. The game has thrown me a curveball and we're sort of on the back foot. There's starvation. There's hull damage. A lot's going on. Food is running out. We actually barely have the alloys even to get to where we want to go based on the recovery rate that we're going to need. And we can hardly keep ahead of the repair rate that we're currently suffering damage from. So... It's not looking good. <laughs> I got a little worried. Um, especially since so many people say this game is really difficult. So we're going to build a better battery here. Load that up, hopefully. And then once that gets charged and once the colonization is done, we should be good to go. So there is four cycles once we deliver our materials to wait for to get that colony up and running. And then we're out of here. Because, of course, we're taking the science ship with us. The entire fleet has been... What's the word? Just brought back in-house for now. Um, so that they can basically avoid getting destroyed. Now, some a few different things I want to do. Let's sort out these problems one by one. So sector four, my housing sector, is having a bit of an issue. Food is a problem. Now, there's slightly too many people in here, although we can feed 1,200 people, but I'm thinking of distributing a few extra people to sector two that are workers. So let's go into population management. Sector four to sector two. We want to meet, bring in workers, and I'm going to bring in 30. Start the migration. Then from Sector 4 to Sector 1, we're going to go with non-workers and just distribute some of the population around just a little bit for now to ease up on the food problems. It's more a logistical error with food rather than not being able to feed them. But less people, less mouths to feed anyway, so that's good. So, we'll have a look at our food resource. Sector 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to readjust these amounts to not be so full to kind of prioritize delivering food to Sector 4. So we're going to wind down Sector 2 to 120, sector 1 to 120, sector 3 is where we make our food, and then sector 4 is where it's going to be stored. So we're kind of, well, not stored, but delivered to the most people. So 360 food is the cap that we have in there. Now the reason that food logistics has fallen apart a little bit is because, of course, I've been shuffling around the different stockpiles here. So the stockpiles have been kind of messed with, and they haven't been able to deliver food as fast as they'd like. There's also some food in the docking bay, so I think we'll be okay. 
Uh, I don't think anyone's going to starve to death, but you never know. So let's try to avoid that. All right, is there any other issues that we need to solve before letting time play? Let me think. That tech is queued up. This needs to be actually set to ice. I noticed ice was getting really low in here, and we're not actually allowing it to be free-flowing. And then, of course, we have iron, but we're not refining it right now. So we need to turn on one of these and perhaps turn off an electronics building there before these extra workers get here. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Sector 3 is in need of more ho uh, housing. So I might get rid of this optimized quarter and build the domatic quarter, which can house a little bit more, 30 extra people for the same amount of space. But it does take an electronics, one electronics, so that's something. Um, these two are going to be emptying out pretty soon and filling into these two, and then we can replace that with upgraded storage. So something that I'm doing is I'm optimizing, right? We're de demolishing storage, you know, these two brackets of storage, and building the double storage, which holds more than these two would. Same for the housing. So a lot of demolishing and rebuilding is going to be going on over the next few episodes while I'm trying to get that all figured out and straightened out. Um, but otherwise, we're looking good. We're happy and we're optimal. And all of my EVA airlocks are online. We just need to make sure this place is always getting the alloys it needs to do that. All right, let's let time play of Dilly Daddy long enough. There was an accident there at one of the workshops, but they're okay. Now, something I'm more concerned of for the future as well is the food production rate. By We've got 460 cryopods right now, and there's a lot out there to be grabbed. You know, obviously about 2,000. And I worry that obviously this sector is not going to be able to compete with the food upkeep for all of that, especially long run. So there are technologies to improve food here, but then we could also get other sources of food, such as the mushroom wall. The mushroom wall apparently just turns waste into food, and I was thinking of placing it somewhere down here, because uh, we got some free wall space here. Not actually, do we have it actually? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so we can actually place fit two of them right there, and then maybe fit another housing block over that way or something. So I think we'll be okay. Just depends on how much waste we can actually manage to grab. Uh, let's turn this on as well and turn that one off. All right, good. So that's my hand. Let's see how it all plays out. Now, we want to be keeping an eye on this event and seeing... Okay, they're delivering food. That's all good. Oh, I was saying that the food was coming in from the docking bay. That's, of course, silly talk. It's going out. Um, I thought maybe from an event or something I couldn't remember that we we're actually taking it in. But, of course, we are sending it out to the colony, so that's my bad. We have a, uh, a probe in production just waiting to be used, but, of course, they're getting destroyed, so I can't do much about that. I'm going to make a couple of mining ships as well in both of these areas just because... Uh, that's good. Yeah, just because I feel like once we get out to the next area, we've only got one mining ship. Our previous ones got destroyed. So I imagine there's going to be resources here. We want to grab them as quick as possible. So the mining fleet's going to get out there and then send the cargo fleet right after. Try to just suck up as much resources as possible for the storm. I assume will either move back or do something else unexpected. All right, let's speed up time just a little bit and see how we're getting on. Good news is at least I don't think there's any... I was going to say, I don't think there's any problems right now, but uh, what just happened there? So let's have a read. A battery tier 1 has been disabled in sector 3 due to an accident. A battery? God damn. Does it lose all its power doing that? It looks like it did. A crop farm has been disabled as well. Let's just get those repaired. We've only got one workshop, but they'll get out there and repair both. Alright, then these can be dismantled. That's all good. And this new house can be built as well. So hopefully the housing situation will get a little bit better here in Sector 3. Now, I just destroyed a house and it says... Oh, there we go. I was thinking it was a bit off. It's corrected. 53 homeless. Yep. Alrighty. And then we also have to prepare for the Piranesi. Build up batteries so that at least four sectors will have backup power for five cycles. So that's what I'm trying to do by improving our battery... Well, optimization, really. And try to configure the space to be a little bit better so we can hold it a bit more power. Um, but we're down to 72, 220 hull strength, repairing at 72. Constantly feeding them right now. One crew member died during the last cycle in an accident. Let me just get rid of these notifications and then I can pay attention to the new ones that come in. All right, good. How are we looking outside? Not good. <laughs> Not too good. Jesus. Oh, my God. What a light show inside. A workshop is being disabled in Sector 2. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of that. As long as they can get population out there and repair, it's not a big deal. Complete. All right, our population maneuvering has 
is done. And we've got food piling up in here now. Again, 170 in the sector. So that's all well and good. So Sector 2. There's an accident in Sector 2. That's going to go away itself. The one in Sector 3 is being repaired. And in Sector 4, we've got some hungry and homeless. The same amount, actually. So in order to actually get the mushroom wall built and stuff, extra food being produced here, which I don't think we need right now, but soon, um, we need a little bit more space, obviously, to cur curve the road in. But we have to set the policy to waste management here because it's actually not online right now. So they're not storing up any waste. I saw a technology that seems quite powerful, which is in the crew quarters section, the Nihe Quarter Protocol. The waste economy has been significant to developing countries for a long time. So while the waste recycling policy is in effect, quarters produced waste at a rate of one waste per 20 inhabitants over 15 cycles. So one waste for every 20 inhabitants. So what's that? It's like 200, right? Basically here, because we've got 1,000 inhabitants. Uh, every 15 cycles. So that's a lot of waste that we could then turn into using on the mushroom walls and any extra can be brought over into sector 2 maybe and refined into different materials and goods. We're currently getting electronics. I don't know if that's a good idea. I feel like we might need alloys or something instead. But I suppose alloys is fairly full right now. And so is polymer. Alright, so every sector should be building or repairing or something all the time. Um, so what we can do now is there's hydrogen in here that doesn't need to be there. We'll just unassign that for now. And this could be unassigned as well. And there's hydrogen here. So we built a big new hydrogen storage out here just to hold it for a while until we get future technologies for it. And then we want to kind of clear out the hydrogen into one space. I'm just trying to optimize the space here a little bit better. And then we can delete these things and build bigger storage again. Building taller, as it were. All right, let's check in on our events. All right, we're bleeding it down. 3.3 cycles left to go. So they've delivered everything they need. As soon as it gets set up, Hopefully that we're not going to take any damage in here. The cargo ships seem to be fine delivering just to the planet. Science ship seems to be fine there as well. And we'll call it back in and get moving as quick as possible. All right, let's just keep time sped up. Keep dealing with our little problems on the bottom here. Technology now. We got our technology to take less damage from the hull, so that's good. And the next one now is the post-lunaclism chambering to make, make us move faster. And then after that, we're going to go straight with the... The other Tycoon Hole 1, which is when we're moving, will take less. But we won't be able to fully get that, I don't think. Based on the science rate that we have. Alright, this is also emptied. Let's rebuild. How are we doing in here? This can be built up now as well. So, maintenance. Bonk. Alright, and that can store more food. Or maybe actually cryopods, seeing as we're going to be storing a lot in here. We've just got the one building unlocking, um, awakening people at the moment. Because I'm just a little afraid frankly, then I'm going to tank my own economy by taking on too many too quickly. So we're just going to burn through them slowly. We can always store them up, get them later. <laughs> uh, but I do think we're probably going to have to open another sector at this rate. But that means that it'll be less, it'll be negative 40 from open sectors. We currently have negative 32 from open sectors for the whole depletion rate for our whole integrity. Uh, so yeah, it looks like these two can go. So we've got some big ice chambers in here as well that we can start to clear out some of these ones that aren't used anymore. So that can go. And the water is being produced just fine. The food is being produced just fine. We're about to get, you know, 120 or something like that. When that's done, we're about just over 100. The battery is now being built. Good. And so how much time do we have? 4.7, 4.7, 3.9, and 7.0. That's how long we can make it. So sector 3 will only make it for four cycles without power. So we could power down maybe one farm. Again, a little rough on the food, but then with the extra speed, have... Did we get that technology yet, by the way? No, when we get the extra technology, then we can really see how, far, how long will it take us to get there and uh, power down what we need to based on that. All right, so there's no more hydrogen out there, so we'll just lock that down for now. There's no more silicon, lock that down as well. And maybe we'll set this to carbon, actually, because we're storing up... We can't actually unload the amount of carbon that we have. There we go, so they can empty it out into this one first. Good amount of waste in there. All right, we're solving problems. Sector 4 is the only thing that has a problem. People didn't die from hunger, did they? Nope, and the technology has been researched. So 46 homeless in sector two, uh, sector four here. So we could build a, I always forget the name, a Doma something, Domatic, Domatic quarter. Another one electronics, that's fine. Pop it right down here. Doesn't quite fit, but it's fine. <laughs> Leaves a bit of uneven space, but maybe we could put something in, excuse me, like the um, infirmary. Solar panel 
Alright, we seem to... Oof. That's alright. We don't need to go out and repair the solar panels. We'll leave it. As long as we have an excess of power, that's all that matters. And we can just continue to build up our whole integrity to get us ready to move. We need at least... Oh my goodness. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, repair that, please. That was a bad one. Holy crap. That was like 200 hull points. Yikes. Yeah, how are we doing? Those are f uh, we're damaged all over the place. Now, there is a technology to let you auto-repair, but I don't, obviously don't want to get that just yet. Alright, let's check the event. How are we doing? This is almost done, but we need more hull integrity if we want to move. And we did get that tech, so let's see how long will it will take us to get there. It's 4.5 cycles, which we can manage. Yeah, we can manage. We can power down one farm, maybe. Sector 4 has lost something, did it? Did it lose? Oh, it lost the batteries, the thing that got damaged. It's so unfortunate. Because I'd rather... I mean... Alright, let's just check it out. What do we got? Alright, the colony is established. Let's get out of here. Leave the planet. So, bring you back to the tycoon. Get back inside. We'll get ready to move as soon as we can get this up to about 400 hull integrity. Should be good to go. Surprised it's not repairing at a better rate, though. Why is that? The EVA airlocks are all online. Let me just empty that out for a second. There we go. Two crew members died during the last cycle in accidents. So there's not much we can do there. Can't control external factors like that. All right, and these uh, these unhoused will get a house with, when this is built. So that's all good. We can destroy this. Stockpile, so every sector needs to be building all the time at refining and building and, you know, making better use of their space. So we're going to switch this to cryopods. I'm going to turn off cryopods here and here. And here, so we can empty these out and flood them all into that one instead. So they basically all just get moving into the one place. Some of them are going to move down here, but that's okay. Alright, good. We're making... we're at least recovering. <laughs> But I really want to get moving. At least we're, got, we're able to build up that tech right now. Now, people have been saying that the storm is apparently moving along with finishing major events um, to do with the Edmanonki. But from what I can see, it tends to happen when you finish any event, not just the ones for the Edmanonki. Because I looked, at ba looked back at it. So the main ones that we were doing here, that did seem to propel the storm to change its direction and move a little bit. But this just probably moved it now. Yeah, it cleared up a load of space. Look at this. We don't have to go through nearly as much to get there, which is great. I'm not really worried about going through the storm as much as I'm worried about running out of power. Um, so, yeah, it seems like if you complete any events. So we could just stay out here and not do any of these if you wanted to game it a little bit and just try to gather as much resources, prepare ourselves then for future attacks, as it were, atmospheric attacks, and then get moving again. All right, let's get this to 400. We're at 355. Almost there. Alright, these things are emptying out nicely. And things just got built. We just got that extra housing done. Excellent. So there's no problems anywhere now. Excellent, right? That's really good. So what we can do in the meantime, and we built our extra ships, I think. Let's start working out better storage. So that fits in there. Ultimately, I just want to get rid of those ones, but I suppose we'll just have to find a new area for these. Let's just do it sideways for now. Actually, you know what? Change my mind. Get that back. I'd rather do the housing instead. It's probably more important. And then we'll put a new house in that place once that gets kind of deconstructed. Alright, well, let's just check over the sectors. Optimal, optimal, optimal. All happy, happy, happy. The best way to probably do that is just to hop out here and hit Alt. You can just see really quickly, like, yep, everyone seems to be happy. If you zoom out and press it... Oh, yeah, it works. Cool. I thought it would fade away. Uh, you can actually see that water is getting pretty low in Sector 3, interestingly. Well, why would that be the case? We should have loads of ice. Yeah, we've got ice there. That'll get distributed to both of these. They should be okay. I guess the farms are just sucking it down pretty quickly. Alright, this is empty now. Delete that and we can set up another food one a bit later. Alright, are we ready to go? We're almost ready to go. Please cross your fingers, guys. No more hits from attack, um, you know, random meteorites. Let's push it to 450. If we can get to there, I think we'd be we'd be safe. We're at 440. 
An accident has occurred in the tycoon. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get moving. 4.5 cycles. Get me the hell out of there. Jesus. Please, God, don't get hit by a meteorite as we go through. All right, so while we're doing that, we know that we can't make 4.5 cycles with every sector. It's just sector three that can't. So we'll power down one farm. And that should get us there. Yep. All right, guys, we're moving. We had an accident in Sector 1 again. It's just a minor accident. It's the probe launcher. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's train some more colonists in case we need them. Alright, Mom. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Mom. We're going to be just fine. Alright, let's continue building. Let's get another bigger depot thing here. Maintenance depot. Storage depot, really. That was a bad one. Tycoon Death Toll now stands at over a hundred. Uh, that's not all my fault. I can't stop a meteor hitting us. How many people were killed just now? Four members were killed. And two members were killed at the same time. So we lost six. Bringing us to a hundred total. So three accidents. How bad is it? That one's getting repaired. Sector two. Let's just repair that one. Sector three. Prepare that one. It's the water fusion building. Are we nearly out of that? No, we're only about halfway. Hull Integrity is repairing as we move, though. Which is something. Six crew members... Yeah, that's okay. We just saw that. All right, as we get to about here, we're going to launch the probe. We know there's a planet somewhere around here. We can't change direction or anything. We have to go all the way. But at the very least, we can start sending out the science ships and getting more tech and things like that. Uh, while we're here, actually, and I'm waiting, I'm just going to click avoid these because we're going to send our fleet back out. And I don't want them prioritizing all this way. Cool. Alright, good. Alright, we're just out of the storm. Launch the probe! Nailed it. All right, and hopefully we can get making another one then pretty much straight away. There we go. Into clearer skies, as it were. There we go. Look at the whole integrity now. Plus 42. Hopefully we're out of the thick of it. Also, we need to repair that solar panel that got damaged. But we're fine for power, at least. So that's good. All right, what a ride. Uh, let's get rid of this. And this can be set to ice. And then we can start unloading these ones. And I'm going to build another one. And this will be set to waste. But we need to change the policy. I'll do it now. I don't mind. Waste recycling policy. What did that say, by the way? It said something about... The cult of the hole is present in Sector 4. Oh, nice. It's present in all the sectors. The reason I say nice for that is just because in the tech screen, when I was looking, this whole temple provides one stability whilst the cult of the whole is propagating in a sector. So I don't know if we'll get other cultists or something later on, but let's just connect this with the road really quickly. Speed that up. All right. We're about three quarters of the way there. And we have found Crook P51. So that was 42. That was 51. We can actually send out a sign ship straight away. Let's send the Einstein. And we can send another sign ship ahead of us. Actually, let's send them to the farthest one. Get that tech and work on it on the way back in. All right. The sign ships have launched. Now, we've made the Godzilla. Did we make the... Oh, we must not have made the other one. Must be a problem with making it. Here. They don't have any polymer. Let's set this to polymer because there is no polymer in sector uh, 3. Sector 3 then can go into polymer, set it to be 20, so that's just enough to make a ship. And they'll deliver 20 and keep it consistent in here if they can. Alright, great. Uh, this has been improved. Nice. 
And we're out of iron. So you know what? Just turn that building off. This is carbon. So we want to empty out the places that are doing carbon. Try to always store it in the biggest stockpile possible before removing the other ones then. Uh, so remove this. Let it go into there. Caution. Entering debris field. What? Oh, it's the um, the bodies. Yeah, yeah. I guess there's bodies floating around at this place as well. So that's going to cause a negative stability for everyone, but it shouldn't be too bad. There we are. Oh god. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, well, we're basically in position. We're at the Depressurized Research and Development District. So there should be good tech here. Oh, we made another probe straight away. So, let's send it out. We want to get resources. There's some here. There's a nice big chunk right there, and we're lacking iron, so let's go for that one straight away. Let's open up the fleets and say, iron's your priority, that's your priority, and that's your priority. That's your priority, and that's yours. No one else really needs to do anything immediately. Ice, maybe? Uh, and then just, we can always set these to do the other things too, in case they feel like getting them. Yeah, that's fine. Now, they've just prioritized going up here. Need to just avoid that and avoid that. And they'll redirect when they can. A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right, the Einstein has arrived. We're going to let it collect its science and then we'll look at the uh, event. Same with the science ship that's heading down here. Love that synth music, so good. All right, we're in position as well. Now, we shouldn't get hit on the hull at all, so what I'm just going to, you know, test out. We're just going to try and repair this solar panel, extra 41 power. We don't necessarily need it, but we're just going to get it done while we can. And then assess the situation. So the station is surrounded by floating corpses. The crew morale is going to be affected. Uh, there's three homeless in Sector 4 as we're awakening more and more people all the time. And we want to develop that food technology, so let's remove this. Get that to cross there, and let's get the food mushroom wall. We know they were going to put two there. Now, alloys might be a little thin for a bit, so I'm just going to pause that, but I just wanted to get it down, know where it's going to go. And then we'll go with another road. Crossing there. And why not here? So there's some empty space there. Maybe I could do something with it, but we'll just leave it as is for now. And this is getting emptied out. Good. Right, we're looking a lot better. Things have stabilized. Yeah? Just a little bit. Let's get that food back online now. Now our miners are heading out, which is good to see. And our third miner... We're getting a bit of lag. Third miner should be out soon. Just waiting for it to get built. It's in Sector 3, I think. God, man, what's with the lag? There it is, yeah, it's getting made right now, the Rochmore. So that's good. All good. Ship has arrived at its destination. All right, we're gathering the signs down here. We've gathered all the signs we could from up there. So it's totally fine. Uh, let's check it out. So, this is the crew of the Einstein. P-51's atmosphere has an extremely high gas concentration. We're navigating through an almost semi-liquid environment. The tremendous pressure is putting the resistance of our suits to the test. Having reached the core, we are preparing to sortie out towards what appears to be a collection of geysers. The area that provided the environmental data. Got it. Um, so, as is pretty typical for me, I'm going to go with the option that takes the most resources, hoping that that's the thing that's going to give me the best outcome. Set up advanced analysis infrastructure. Don't want to be performing anything intrusive. That doesn't sound good to me. So that's going to require um, 50 alloys. So we'll get the pelican to deliver it out of sector 3. Should be fine. Now, something else we're going to do, because we don't have any iron, we're not making any alloys, and we're going to need a lot to repair right now. Let's we'll switch this to alloys, so that the waste gets turned into alloys straight up. Let me just reconfigure a few things in here now. So that's going to be waste, that's fine. This isn't really set to anything, and that's not set to anything. Hmm. Just trying to think of what the best way... Let's just start getting rid of things. You can go. And you can go. 
and I can set a bigger deposit for alloys and another bigger one for iron ore. This could be merged as well. It's just it's got a road going between it. But it would be good to do that. So as soon as that gets removed, there we go. So, this will be iron alloys. And once these are the alloys are yeah, is that, does that make sense, or should it be iron ore? Well, we'll, we'll see. But I'll set it to ore for now, because ore will be the base product, right, coming in first. All right, good. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, let's start improving their housing as well. So we'll start just deconstructing. I'll power on this other workshop so we can get building two things at once. Holes repairing nicely. Happy to see it. No major problems. No major deaths, right? All good. We seem to be all good. Now, our other ship is done. The Rochmore. So we'll get that to go out and get the silica. Actually, we're going to need a lot of iron. So just go, two of you go get iron. Mine it up. And then uh, technology will be the next thing. We have 32 signs banked. So we currently are getting the reinforced steel cladding tycoon hull upgrade. Which means that we take less damage while we move. Um, let's see. What could we get after? Mining ships. Customizable UI. Mining ships mine 20% faster. Let's do that. And then after that, I'll probably go with crop farming because I'm a bit worried about food long term. A few other things. There's loads of things I want to get. A lot of upgrades before I'm going to go out to the outer rings, as it were. How's that storm, by the way? Does it look like it's encroaching back yet? Not necessarily. Um, yep, and then our other ship should be going that way. Sorry, I'm terrible with the probes. Let's get our probes out there quicker. There was iron and stuff over this way, too. Alright, I'll try to keep an eye on that as soon as we get another one, you know, launch it. This. Alright, technology gone. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Five were injured, okay. Alright, you get going to the habitation sector. I'm just going to pick up all the tech and then we'll do the events. This guy has to stay up there for the deliveries, right? So, what we're looking for is something like 90, what was it, 50 alloys? And that's coming from sector three, I want to say. It's the pelican. Yeah, so there we go. They're actually loading up right now. Excellent. They're doing their thing. Just making sure, you know, there you go. There they go. Make sure they all got their stuff. They all have their jobs. And just speaking of, our, how's the damage? Damage is okay. It's just a minor accident. Nothing too massive. These two are empty. Let's just dismantle those. And maybe we could start to invest in the mushroom wall. And we need to say that some waste needs to be stored in here. So, yeah, I don't know. Max it out, really. So, Sector 2 is using waste to make lots of different things. Just max that out as well. So, Sector 3 produces a lot of waste from the farms and stuff, and so does 1. So, hopefully, they'll just get distributed between everywhere. Yep. You don't have any priority. It's fine. Just figure it out. <laughs> we could lower it down a bit later, but I'm sure some will get delivered in once it gets made. All right, what's the ice situation in here? We've got 120, so they're fine. And we've got room for another storage thing. Uh, so yeah, there's actually room for... Maybe we can get rid of some of the cryopods down here. Let them get stored up into that place. A science ship has arrived at and then we'll turn that offline. All right, science ship has arrived. It's gathering 18 tech right now. Yep, tech is moving nicely, and we just got another technology so we can queue up the next one. So, like I said, food technology. Intelligent design food production speed is increased by 20%. By altering the genome of our food items, we'll be able to adapt them to the environments we evolve into and to produce the yields that we want. All right, queue it up. Crop farms produce more waste. That would also be nice to get, just because we want more waste now. And the one that gives us waste from the housing. Yes, that's a big one. All right, lots to get. I feel so safe now out of the uh, out of the zone. And our 33 alloys is heading up there. So two trips up to Kruk P51, and we should be good to go. And we've just gathered all the tech, so let's move over to the medical district wreckage. So what do we have? We have destroyed docking bay, habitation sector, medical district, and depressurized R&D. Let's get probing. A science ship has arrived at its destination. 
All right, good. These guys are just mining away. Nice. So yeah, my theory is that if we finish any of these events, the storm will move somewhat. And I'm not going to game it too hard, but I'll... I'll go easy on it. I'm not going to mainline them, depending on how this thing shifts. I want to get some of the resources so that we're at least prepared for an event, like another storm or this storm the moving back or whatever. Because I feel like I was right on the edge. <laughs> uh, it's nice to see as well. At Crook P42, we're getting 36 tech already. So obviously when we get back up there, there's a nice big reward for us. Who knows, though? The storm might never move back and it'll be a real dangerous kind of thing where you have to pick those guys up again. Technology customizable UI is unlocked. That means that our miners are now mining 20% faster. So hopefully we can start to throw out even more cargo ships. Because there's actually not that much materials for them to get just now. Sector 2 has got a little bit of homelessness. So we can start to dismantle, like I said, some of these things. Make the space a bit more efficient. Uh, so are we storing iron anywhere else? Nope, just here. And then this could be done for food. Yeah, so, hmm, just trying to think where we can send that food. We've got so much carbon and silicon. Uh, okay, let's turn on the iron just to get that up and running again, emptying out the iron facility here. Can we do it with both? Yes, we can. All right, that's a good amount of alloy production up and running. We're making alloys here as well, so loads of alloys. And I'm going to cut that road in between here, so space is going to get a little messed up but at least it'll be technically more efficient. And then the batteries need to be readjusted as well. We can start to move these batteries and power them down. I'm going to try and really compress the space down here because we got it's really messy. It was pretty good for a long time, but now it's getting a bit, a bit bad. Alrighty. Nice. Okay, um, so the tech is done down there. All right, we're back at depressurized R&D, so we can start doing the event there, and we'll start doing this event here. Did everything get delivered? Uh, not yet. We're waiting on the second trip. All right, we've got two ships working on iron. Uh, maybe we can start to get silicon, just to get the silicon building up and running as well. All right, you can gather everything else as well. All right, let's just speed up time. Now the probe's ready to go. That's a bit far away. It would be good to see, is there another planet? The silicon and iron right there. Let's go for that first. We could move to Krug P4051 and grab that stuff. Destination. All right, tech is flying up as well, which is just so great to see. Um, we're currently just getting the intelligent farm thing. So what was the next one after that? It's... Crops produce more waste. Let's get that. The docking bay then needs, I think it was automated, no, des designed instruction. And then we can get our cargo ships to actually load faster. Uh, a little bit further down here, they need that upgrade before they can do it. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this housing here. And we can start to get rid of this road and build better batteries down here. We just have the one mess hall in the sector. How's our other places doing? A little bit of homelessness now, and same in sector four. We're unlocking people all the time. Food seems good globally, 800. Not, not really a problem yet. Let's resume the activity on the mushroom wall. I believe we can build it now. And let's get rid of this. Again, just optimizing hard optimization. Ice is still good here. And we kind of want to empty out these, these ones then. So just turning them on means ice is just getting distributed to other places. We now we had 3,000, we're down to 2,300. That's another thing that if we run out of ice, we have we essentially ruin ourselves for food production. Now what's your problem? Storage is full. No more resources can be produced. We're full on polymer. Wow, good problem to have, I guess. Yeah. All right, looks like we need upgraded storage for polymer then. So what I was thinking is. That fits there. We could do something like... There wouldn't be any space for the road, though. That's the problem. Let's 
trying to see where the best places to put these things would be. I mean, ultimately, we can just get rid of the things we have and do it. Space is so tight in this area. All right. Um, hmm. Silicon will be coming back in in a moment, so that can stay. This is taking up iron. I'll tell you what. We don't have that much iron in storage right now. Let's go with more carbon. Just regular carbon. Turn this off. And turn that off. Set this to be iron. That should shuffle things around a bit and allow me to empty them out and make a bigger storage for polymer. Um, but also, we can distribute more polymer around the, around the um, tycoon. So let's go with that and About a hundred in that sector. hundred there and a hundred here. Just get it moving. They should ship it out then. I've actually nowhere to even store the alloys. That's what I wanted to make. It was a big alloy storage thing. So we're waiting on these to get dismantled. Okay. Sorry, getting a little bogged down there. Uh, how are we doing for the event? All right, this event is ready to go. Depressurized R&D district and our materials have been delivered over there, so we're good to go. I'm going to set out this other probe. Um, it looks like we've got a planet somewhere here. There we go. All right. This is the crew of the Tuturium. The section of wreckage is massive. We believe it is the remains of a research and development district. The laboratories we've seen look virtually destroyed, but we did not, uh, sorry, we did find an intact security room. A sign above its entry reads, reads Orn-8. To access the room, we'll need power from the Tycoon via the RTP. Unfortunately, specific accreditation, I always fuck up saying that word, is um, also required to open the room's armored door. The neighboring residential area has collapsed, making the balance of this area unstable. We've spotted some emergency cryopods within the debris, though it doesn't look like there was enough time for a full evacuation. Search the labs, I would say first. How's our fleet doing? So sector three is food and like ice. Oh my god, there's pods? Oh, we found pods. 212 pods. Well, sector three stores up pods. So yeah, go out and get your pods. Pods, 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 pods. You'll be able to do it really fast actually. So this sector here, this is where we're storing up. There's 360 people there. Uh, let's just store up another 360 there. And then we can clear these out and do something else with them. A probe has completed its scan. And then we're just churning through them slowly but slowly but surely. Ship not doing anything. It's the Pelican's not doing anything because we had it set to... I'll, I'll keep it reserved for delivering different things. Uh, so we have our probe up there. Good. What do we have now fleet-wise? We've got 2,000 iron at our fingertips. That's a lot. That's good. Get those mining ships out there. Um, so, the other thing I want to do is have a look at our tech tree again. What are we currently getting? So, the farm upgrade... The second farm upgrade is... Now, so, that one was intelligent design. Food production increased by 20%. Currently, we're getting the crop farms produce more waste. Food production is increased by 30%. We could get just after it to cap it off. But I feel like we'll leave that for a little while. Because uh, food is probably going to be okay. Especially with the mushroom wall up and running. Battery tech. So what can we get here? Charging speed. Now I wanted to go with um, cargo ship stuff. So cargo ships move 20% faster. We'll queue that up the next. Tech lab. The next thing is research speed is increased 20%. Uh, maybe get that afterwards. Alright, you're full. So you can just power down. All right, one of the mushroom walls has been built. It's churning six waste into nine food every three cycles. Good. Food here is full. Uh, probably not good. We want this sector to basically be set to about 300 because it's going to produce some of its own food now. So now we can kind of increase slightly the amounts of the other sectors as we try to feed everyone's tummies. All right, we've got 1,072, so population's at 2,100. No one's died in a while, I don't think, unless I missed it. Crew members injured. Injured, yeah, I think we're okay. We've upgraded our housing somewhat. So 
Let's keep doing that. We have the electronics to do a few more little upgrades. Again, let's dismantle that. Let's dismantle this. Okay. Docking bay has been disabled in Sector 3 due to an accident. Okay, that's fine. All right, probe is ready to go. Carbon and silicon. So yeah, we found Crook P41. So once one of these scientists is done with their current objectives, we'll move over and start grabbing all that tech. So that's a, the great thing about all this is being, we've been just hoovered up so much science. We've really p powered through the tech tree recently, which is great. 54 is just piling up there as well. Storm hasn't moved in a while, so it does seem to be based on events rather than time passing. All right, our... Oh yeah, I just remembered the tech I wanted to get. I kept said it before and then I kept forgetting. So that's post lunacism That's making our cargo ships faster. That's fine. Car crew quarters. The um, the Nihei quarter protocol. So get waste from your houses. And that'll help us turn that into food with the mushroom walls. So we'll get that next as well. That's a lot of resources. Everywhere. Not just um, this sector, but every sector has a lot of you know people in it. And effectively we're getting a little bit of waste scraped from each of their houses every 15 cycles. That's good. So this is empty now. Let's just get rid of it. And that's doing waste. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. I'll build a bigger waste disposal place because I feel like we're going to need it. Same with down here. It's also stockpile technologies to just invest it heavier. Um to be thicker. Can we put something here? Yeah, I might do this down here then. So we're going to clean up this middle space, which has been a disaster for a long time. Get rid of some houses in the center here as we're building the bigger housing quarters. So we'll upgrade these ones as well. Okay, good. Hopefully we have the alloy storage, <clears throat> excuse me, to actually hold this. As My voice I is going. Do we not have any alloy storage? You stay here. Did I dismantle you? No, you can turn into alloy storage then. Oh, there's some there. I didn't see it. But yeah, it's okay. We'll just give it the extra bit. A so what was that message? Team has completed a task. All right, let's check out the R&D district first. Oh my word, 820 pods. I might actually tell them not, I don't, we can't, we have no space for those. Um, the laboratories were, the labs, were severely damaged by the Edebananki's depressurization. Most equipment has either been destroyed or is missing. The team found clear traces of laser cutting. Floors and walls have been ripped open. The R&D district was a secure area, studying not only space-related phenomena, but also technologies considered forbidden by the UN. Recovered research reports mention Dolos, BMS, and Ashtangite invention... Uh, sorry, invention? Yeah, invention being studied. Also noted is the reports is these quarters in the reports is these quarters for the area's techno supervisor. They possess the accreditation required to open the security's room door. All right, nice. So we got the, the way to get in. So locate the techno supervisor's quarters. Let's just hold off. Let's gather the tech first. There's 50 tech here. Um, and you're just going to be piling in 900. Oh my god. I guess so. Let them do it. This place, the docking base is going to get backed up though. Yeah, we'll have to build another one as I'm trying to clear up the, you know, manage the space a little bit better. Maybe get rid of this battery. I'll have to wait before getting rid of too much stuff. We want to actually make the space to put down more alloys and things first. Man, I'm loving this game. I'm just going to record like four or five episodes now because <laughs> I just want to keep going. Um, I do want to get through the series a little quicker as well. I realize I've been taking my sweet ass time with it, not just in terms of gameplay, but an upload schedule. Probably not a good idea having three series on the go. Alright, so carbon, carbon, that's all good. Carbon's been all moved into one place. The polymer has been distributed nice and fairly evenly, I guess you could say. Yeah, we're making a lot better use of the space that's been given to us. So, two electronics here. I'm going to switch this to making electronics now, because I feel like we've got plenty of alloys, but not much electronics. And silicon has come in again, so now we can power this bad boy back on. That's going to put us into extra hours, though. So we're going to turn off one of the um, iron foundries <clears throat> because we don't necessarily need to be making that much alloys. Uh, now, we do have enough to also, just really quickly before we wrap up, invest sorry, invest in getting more solar panels. It's another six electronics to even out this side of things. But I'd like to kind of use the polymer that we have too much of. So I'm going to go for it. 
Because obviously we've got loads of power right now, but I just think it's a good idea to do. Especially as so many people are coming in. Alright, so that's where we're going to have to leave it off. So, looking at the situation, you know, most people were, were happy. Yeah, sometimes it shows and sometimes it doesn't like this. I don't know why. Happy, optimal, happy, optimal, happy, optimal, neutral, optimal. Sorry, in Sector 3. From the corpses floating around the station. Other people don't mind that as much. Ha, they have the dog. Plus one from the dog. Does no one else care about the dog? Yeah, everyone does. I like to think the dog moves around. Uh, well, anyway, I can look into specifically why. I'm sure you saw it caught why, but I'll have a look at why they're neutral. Maybe see if we can do something to improve them. And just keep thinking about how we're going to optimize and build a little bit better. So, again, better population. So, it seems like a bottleneck for me is going to be electronics at this stage. Uh, as that's required for a lot of these upgrades we've been doing. But at least we're condensing the space, building taller. Things are looking good. Pretty happy with the progress so far. The battery tech is getting better. Storm doesn't seem to be moving. A lot of people that we uh, need to bring in. We've got this event to look at next. And we're gathering tech. All right. So that's a lot. There's a lot going on. I'm loving it. All right. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends. 